Hey guys, we are back in Feed the Beast and as you can see the little 9x9 house is quite empty all I got is a trash can and a bed and two double chests well actually I did a lot of work off camera since the last recording and um, I found these which is ender lily seeds and um, they are cool but they take a very long time to grow and um, if you have endstone and or I mean if you have endstone they grow a lot quicker and there is a chance of the seed doubling but I don't have that yet because I found them you find those in dungeons and uh, mob spawner by mob spawners and stuff and one other thing I got some diamonds and um, some orberry bushes and um, a filler I made that one because downstairs I think I'm getting FPS drops sorry guys down here we have the um, new room I'm trying out some stuff we got two hardened energy cells four motors which right now is empty so let's put five coal there five coal there five there and five there close that one in here I got autonomous activators and um, orberry bushes one of each just to try stuff out see how it works back here I have a um, autonomous activator and um, an orberry bush let's just close that up again and here is today's episode we're gonna make a um, Tinker's Construct smeltery so I will make this since most people look up Tinker's Construct I will show how it's built how it works and uh, how you will get to work so there will be a lot of cuts in uh, this episode but let's go up here and take a look at what we need so for this we need something called grout which is made from clay a clay block sand and gravel for one clay block you get a grout and um, let's see how many clay blocks we have six um, for six we need uh, four times six twenty four so one two three four and we need twenty four sand so I'm gonna make a diamond shovel um, let's see where I need sticks and I took that Damn it. Oh well, let's see. Um, this one, whoops, like that. You know how to do a shovel, it's nothing hard. And actually, I do know I have some sand right up here. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So I believe I have twenty-one now. Twenty-two. Almost twenty-three and get it? Twenty-four. And let's head back. And all the stuff here in the start is quite basic with machines and stuff like that. So let's put the grout there or the clay there, that there and that there. We get 20, uh, 48 grouts. Just go down and um, smelt these up in a furnace. I got a redstone furnace now and a pulverizer. So it should not take that long to do. 
and you get one of these shred bricks, shared bricks. And let's see if we can find that book I had. That starter book with Tinker's Construct. I think it's called Materials and Me. Let's see. Um, there it is. So um, just open the book. You get gets getting started and recipes, and the getting started is stencils and stencil tables. We're gonna take a look at this after we built the smeltery, which is shown here. And for this, we need. Um, oh, how many do we need? It should say here how many we need. Nope. I think you get the new book, the red one, the second. Once you've created something with with this bricks. Oh, get the black one. So, oh, that's racist. Let's just do that to get the red one. This is the second one, which is tools, materials, and modifiers. All the tools we can do in the smeltery modifiers. And the black one shows the smeltery, how it's built. The mighty smeltery book. And um, here should say any shred, shred bricks, nine of them. Or uh, nine shred, shared bricks. I can't pronounce that right. One tank, one smeltery. Um, any combination of 10 shared bricks, shared tank or drain and one faucet and the faucet and a casting table and it's built by laying down a 9x9 nine nine and uh, adding 3 on each side to build upwards so let's make as many as we can and I'm probably gonna cut here and come back once nope I got nine now let's just take it now then all you do is add nine down here I probably have to go out to get more uh, clay for the faucets um, I have no wood so I'm gonna cut here and uh, come back once I got more grout and uh, shared bricks so I will be right back okay guys I'm just making up the last component of what we need in um, in the way of um, controllers and extra blocks which is this tank and I have eight bricks and I'm FPS dropping apparently um, sorry for that. That will be fixed as soon as I can afford a new CPU and more RAM. And we need one glass. We put the glass in the middle. Go around it like this. Um, what else did we need? We just need more bricks. Oh, I only have three gravel. I need more gravel. Is there any gravel in here? Um, nope. That is so close. When you know you have grass on the inside, you know that it's just that block. And outside of that block, it's here. <laughs> it's outside. Um, the controller has to be in the bottom. And I usually put them... Um, put them in front like here so I put this one here and I put the tank here and uh, I usually go two layers at start let's see did I get more no oh I have those and with this I go you just need one layer 
to get your first basic tinkers smeltery fixed but I usually go with the smeltery drain in here and the faucet here and the way these are crafted is the faucet is like a bucket with three going um, let's see just clean out a 9 by 9 area here put the armor back on Um, sorry for this, I'm so unprepared sometimes, mostly, here, like this, this is the um, faucet, that little one here, the uh, drain, I believe was a drain, why don't I just do this, I think it's six like this, yeah, and the controller is like a chest, and the tank we just saw, and these are just a 4x4 four four area or a 2x2 two two area so right now I'm going to hunt for some gravel I can see I have some here um, let's go into bat mode and just take all the gravel we can see here and replace it with stone whoops I have some stone on me. I can't even move. There we go. Um, there we go. I believe. That's really weird looking water. Oh well. Um, some more gravel. Okay, I guess I didn't have need to go and hunt for gravel. There is a lot of them. Whoops. Um. Oh well. Sorry for not talking, I'm concentrating on the water. Um, we need, you will need a lot of gravel for this. And the uh, good thing about the smeltery is you can go as many layers as you can. The more layers you have, the faster you can, or the more ores you can smelt at once. I can show you soon. I will fix that up later. Um. We have some gravel now, just put the clay in here, take the sand, go like that, and take this, go like so. And we got two of them. I just need one right now, I believe. No, I need eight. So let's see how many I do I have now. Three, one more. Come on. There we go. Whoa. I will clean this place up with smooth stone as soon as I have an igneous extruder. Look that up too. Igni respond like that. Yeah, it is. Recipe. It's very basic. And you know that smeltery works once this one lits up and it has to be on the bottom layer or the bottom layer of this not this the first layer you can say and we have a 3x3 three three area because it's 3x3 three three here so for every layer you add you get another 3x3 three three here and this can go from bedrock to sky limit it's very weird <laughs> But it's good. I did that wrong. Three more. Can go like this. 
One, two, three. And uh, in here you just put lava. And I don't know where there is some. But I will find some of camera and fill it up. One, two. Let's take a look at a um, tank. A portable tank, not a creative portable tank like this. It's just glass and copper. And the harden is for Invar. I just have two, I think. So I'll just make the basic one. And the good thing about those is you can uh, fill them up and move them around. Let's see. Oh, I have exactly four glass. And what was it? A copper? Do I have one here? I have one on me. Good. Let's put the copper in the middle. Put that like so. And I will go and find some lava. And I have a bucket on me. Good. So I will just go and find lava. And I will be right back. Okay guys, we are back. Ugh, sorry, my nose was tickling. <laughs> that sounded so homosexual. I don't know why I just said that, but it didn't. And we're gonna not do like that. We're gonna fill the tank. Do not shift click once you add the lava to the tank. It can hold up to eight buckets. It has five right now. Six, seven, and eight. Just get the uh, crescent hammer, not output, shift click it, hope you get it back, and I did. And now we're gonna head back, map, this is my home, I did realize I had this one, so, and I found this one, cause I can, sh I think you remember from the last episode, this one is really huge and um, let's see do they do synchronous swimming too bad I don't know any music that goes with synchronous swimming but they broke up apparently let's see um, in here and it's strange because you cannot fly as a bat anymore and I do not know why I think the uh, maker of morph mods is trying to tweak it so he took it away which seems quite weird to me um, and now the um, bricks should be done or at least some of them. We need fluid ducks too. They were done. And do nine more. Which is three more than we need. But oh well. It's better. It's better to have more than. Yeah, you understand. So now I got a th two three by threes or a six by three I believe it is which is 18 for you who don't want to calculate it and just go up with three every time right now we're gonna make what was I supposed to make um, oh yeah let's see can we make this back into bricks nope so we need even more bricks too bad, uh, too bad, not too bad, good that I had more of the grout than sorry for that, my throat is getting dry and I really shouldn't be drinking energy drink if my throat is getting dried first off we're gonna make a um, casting table actually what I'm going to do is make another faucet and another drain 
you will see why once I make the uh, one more come on uh, there we go so this is how I make the train as I showed you before and I need my pickaxe so you can add as many drains and faucets and stuff like that as you need to have three good just making a faucet put that here let's see go up and get a uh, flu duct is what I need right now should be one here or in the other chests there it is and this is because you need to get the lava from the tank the portable tank to the other tank here and all you have to do is right click with this and it turns to output mode this can hold four buckets and I don't know why there is only 1.85 bucket left but oh well at least we got lava whoops I always do that um, should we add another layer maybe I usually go with three or four layers nine we need twelve or eight we need twelve we need four more three more I believe um, or wait oh why did I do this now I need three more of those they should be coming in here in any second one more you can do it come on there we go and just make it like a thingamajig just put it down here so this here makes a casting and stuff like that and for the casting you need aluminum brass let's see here materials Let's see if it shows up in here. Um, Elamite, no. It's probably in the uh, third one. Alloys, here we are. Uh, you can use aluminum brass, which is three aluminum and one copper. You can use gold to make the casts. And since we got that going, Right now I'm gonna make some aluminum brass to have in there because I need I have a lot of aluminum and uh, 26 divided by 2 is ten, 13 whoops come back here let's see how much copper I can get out of this room here at least four six might need to close that up too like so and in here you just throw it in let's see where it is where is it there it is I can do all this hmm that should be full fuel hey why are you not full That is so weird. Oh well. Um, this will take not that long, but when you cook this low tier materials, it takes practically nothing. But when you go to the Nether to get cobalt and ardite, which looks like um, ardite is this here. It's some yellow ore, and you find in the Nether and cobalt is this blue here it's quite weird weird it's quite weird that's what I was what I supposed to say so there we go now it's full we got molten copper just throw this in there this should go even quicker and we should get some other stuff so right now I'm gonna go and chop down wood 
because we're gonna need a lot of the, it. Um, we need like so. This is for the basic tables, so we need a stencil, a workbench with the stencil on top, should make a tool station. And now we got the red one. That's weird. Oh well. Um. Isn't the damn it. Um. Tinkers. I believe you do like that. Tinkers. Nope. Tinkers can. I just spell it. Tinkers construct con. <laughs> Hope you didn't see that. Is it like this? I can't even spell today. Oh well. We need a part builder which is just a log and a blank pattern. Chest and a blank pattern and a plank and a blank pattern. So I will go and get some wood. We need another axe. Let's make. Damn it! I have no wood. Let's sleep through the night, and I will be back once I got all the tree that I need, or the wood. Okay, be right back. Okay, guys, I just crafted up all this, and we're gonna start with the parts builder. Let's take this out here. No, let's begin with stencil table, pattern chest, tool station, and part builder. Um, wait. Um, pattern chest and stencil table. Let's switch these two out. I believe it is. So it's part builder and tool station. Yeah. If you place the part builder next to the pattern chest, just simple pattern and parts next to each other, you get access to the pattern chest right in the uh, part builder. So if you want, you can get this one into the wall and take it even closer. But right now, I'm waiting. Uh, for uh, the last tool forge table so we're gonna need another tool station so I can make that right now and we need a few iron blocks let's make the iron blocks first need exactly four and uh, we need two sticks two woods and what was it more um, it was tool station there it is just a workbench so like this we go put it in there and put it down in there that's so the iron blocks like that and the last thing like that so this makes you be able to make the higher tools. Here you can just make pickaxes and bows and this one, which is a firing pan. And in here you can do everything like that. So we don't need this one. It's just looks better with everything. And uh, I got the aluminum brass, so I'm just gonna make a few more stencils to put in here to make the patterns and you should have known or seen how you do it it's just two sticks and two wood planks so you don't need more than this put that in here first of all we need to know what weapons we're gonna use or what 
things we're gonna make and I usually make the first three ones which is a hammer for mining a axe lumber axe for um, chopping wood and an excavator for digging like dirt um, gravel and stuff like that and I usually use this sword or this sword it's a cleaver or a rapier but the cleaver is damage high durability average and this one is damage low durability durability low but it's so quick compared to normal sword and uh, moderate is normal or just below normal I think Uh, I haven't used everything here. Matlock, uh, farming tool, so you can chop down everything, you can like soil dirt and chop down wood, you can repair stuff, you can, I don't know why you do a sign, but the battle sign is an advanced in weapons technology worth of zombie pigments everywhere. I don't understand that. Short bow. Chisel. Yeah, it's basically... I think we're gonna use this threes and... Try with rapier. Let's start with the hammer. We need tough tool binding rod. We need a normal two. Now that I made it, let's just change this up. It looks so messy. Um, next pattern. No, 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 no. There is a tough tool rod. Let's see, do we need this one for any of them? For two of them. So we need that one too. Let's find the hammerhead. This can take some time to, there it is, large. Or this is not the hammerhead pattern, it's the large plate pattern. Excavator, or a what is, um, X head. Excavator. There it is. So we need tough, tough, tough binding rods, the normal, um, we need that, um, let's just make all this into, what you call it, oh, uh, this is so annoying. Because we actually do need stones for this, and a lot of it. Smooth stone, I, s I mean. Um, to make the... Uh, uh, I don't know what, it, what they're called. I do know what they call it, just can't remember it. But the thing with the aluminum brass and stuff like that. And you can use gold, as I said, to that too. But right now, let's put the that one in there. For this, we need three uh, smooth stones. Three for this, eight for this, eight for this, and eight, and eight. So we need four times eight, which is 32, uh, 35. So we need 38 smooth stones to make this here into stone we need we have eight so we can make the first one you just take hmm, let's take this one put it in here let's just look here you can place this in here so you don't clog up the inventory put the stone in here and we get the stone large plate while 
doing nothing, we can do like this. Make sure molten aluminum brass is on the bottom and molten copper is on top. Right click this one and it should fill up to make a uh, cast. That's what it's called. Silly me. This one you can use for the casts too. Apparently no, not anymore. It could be for, but you can use it for this one. So let's just put that in there. And I'm sorry for my phone going off. Um, if you can hear it. So we have, we can make two more with the eight. Not that table, idiot. This table. Take that one out. Let's make the excavator head. And let's make a hammerhead just right click in it right click this one right click everything to get it out put next one in right click it and we got the cast for this too let's put these in here uh, there it is Put, oh my god, I'm lagging so much, I don't know why. Let's put this in here. Put this one back. Let's see where it ended up. Good. Um, smooth stone. I think we can do the last parts now. Which is the broad axe head. Take this one out. So we have basically everything. Let's take this one and this one. So we have one more to make, which is the tool rod pattern, which is nothing that we need because not right now. Um, Let's smelt this up. So again, just to be clear, right click to get it in the table, right click the faucet, right click the table twice, put the next one in. And this is all you have to do to get the um, casts. Put the casts in here. Uh, what the hell we can make the small one too just do it like this take this one out so basically these here are half stones there's no usage usage for them except smelting them down to stone um, let's make a pattern out of this too And we're up in a very long episode, but this is what it takes to make a Tinker's Construct smeltery. It's not fast. It ta it's been taking me about one and a half hour right now. Let's just put everything in here that has with this to do. Um, like so. Let's see, was that it? No, there was one more. That has to be it. Yep. So we got this going. We got the um, basics going. Next episode is about making tools and forge it and upgrade it. And uh, probably expand this some, probably up to the roof here, if we can. Uh, let's see how many we get. Oh. No, there we go. 12. We can make another layer. So let's do that before we end this episode. Just to prove uh, we need to mine this out. One, two, three. 
one two three one two three one two three so now we should have another but so let's take the armor off quick to say goodbye um I will I want to thank you for if you made it all the way through to make the smeltery and um, I will just say leave a like if you liked it comment if you want to subscribe if you need for more and uh, have a great day bye